And so I want to spend a few minutes giving you uh, a taste for what I found in terms of the banking and money system, which among all three of those is the least understood, the most brittle, and the most dangerous to society, in my view. So here it is. You get one day workshop in three minutes. <laughs> all money is created as debt. The only exception are the coins in your pocket. And in fact, more than 90% of our money supply is created by the private banking sector out of nothing with accounting entries when they make loans at interest. Yes, this <laughs> has a couple, this is a couple of consequences. The first one is that we do not have a permanent money supply because every time loans are repaid or defaulted upon, the money supply shrinks. And that's why, by the way, austerity is not working and Europe is finding out the hard way. The second thing is the private banking sector decides with that money, the first use of the money they create by lending it into existence. And in the last 10 years, they created a big real estate bubble by lending a lot in that sector, and now they are inflating a financial assets bubble. That's why the stock market is doing very well while the economy is not. Second point, and this is the, the biggest flaw, design flaw of the monetary system we have, no money is created ever to repay the interest on that debt. This forces us on a continuous path of growth in the economy and in our monetary base because we need to borrow more next year than this year to repay the interests. And the one strategy to mitigate the inflationary pressure of a never expanding money supply is to convert nature into commodities and relationships into services. To understand the last point, just think about the fact that most of the childcare, elder care, and food preparation 100 years ago required no exchange of money. The private banking sector has the monopoly of money creation. In the last 200 years or 300 years, the US government and most governments has ceded a key government function, the money creation, to the private banking sector. And now those governments have to borrow from those they ceded the power to create the money to finance their budget deficit. This means, this means, by the way, that we are all borrowing our money supply and that we have to pay an interest on the money supply every year, which is a tax on the productive economy that continues to concentrate the wealth in the hands of the few. And finally, and most important, somebody has already alluded to this, money is an agreed upon fiction. It's just a set of numbers in computers. And that is also true for investment, liquid investment capital.